I spent 22 years as a caregiver, first for my mother, who suffered with heart challenges as well as being a dialysis patient. And I also care for my father, who my mom transitioned in 2010. And then when my mom transitioned, I pretty much immediately transitioned to being the caregiver for my father, who was a cancer patient. And as a result of that, he was a Vietnam um, veteran. Um, he had Agent Orange, and so that caused all kinds of complications. So I was a caregiver for him until 2021. Um, my mom had heart surgery on 9-11. So can you imagine the world was turned upside down and she was in the hospital and didn't want to be in the hospital. And I very much wanted to take her out, but she needed to be there. I would say some of the things that I know now that I didn't know at the time when I was two feet in being a caregiver and that I advise my friends and my network on now as they care give for their family members is that one, you have to ask for help. You know, you can't do it all by yourself. And oftentimes things are so heavy on you, but ask for help. Two, I'm so glad AARP provides different tools and resources that I did not know about. So seek out and use those resources so that you don't feel overwhelmed and overburdened. And then there are oftentimes things that you just don't know so you can learn a lot. Three, I would say, Find ways to find joy for you and your loved one. So intertwining comedy and play and things like that to lighten the mood. I, I didn't do that too actively, but I advise, like I said, my friends and family to do that now. And then I'll conclude, I would just say that, you know, at some point we're all gonna be a caregiver or someone's gonna be caring for us. So owning the title of caregiver is a badge of honor I consider. My biggest challenge was really trying to do it all myself. I was my mother's only child, not my father's, but I had to do it. My siblings didn't do very much. <laughs> and so I had to do a lot. I had to, but then I had to learn about myself. I have a hard time with asking for help. So that's an, a way that I grew. You're giving out a lot of your time, energy, and love. And so be kind to yourself, seek support. And know that there's nothing better than giving love to the people that you love.